Ministries thanks you for watching the Bible studies and Christian news and the prophetic teachings. However, if you will just subscribe by clicking the subscribe button, the bell to be notified for the next video study, and then share with others. These videos can go to countries where they are not allowed to even carry a Bible, and this will help save. Hello, church, saints, and seekers. This is Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. I pray that you have had a blessed Sunday. This is Sunday, June the 12th of 2022. I have three more weeks of school and then I will start reading again with you. I'm going to take that break. You all need it. I need it. Also, I am getting ready to go in uh, possibly in July or August for partial knee surgery. So if anyone uh, is alerted by the Holy Spirit to pray for me, I would be jealous for those prayers since it's something I did not want to do, I kept waiting for the Lord to heal me, and evidently He is going to heal me, and He is healing me, but uh, for some reason He seems to have picked a surgeon through which to heal me. Uh, today's daily manna verses are First Chronicles chapter 7 and 8. Psalms chapter 77 verses 4 through 9, Proverbs chapter 19 verses 13 and 14, Acts chapter 5 verses 22 through 42 for June the 22nd, 2022 on Wednesday. This is Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Prophetic News. This is the prophetic news portion. I felt all day to come on to just say a few words. And the prophetic part of this video is we see in part and we prophesy in part. Oh, and these are my book boxes. I have too many books. And so I have to make a decision on whether to sell them back on Amazon or to put them in storage. And should a space open up someday, we'll have a library. So the best thing to do is to just store them, put them away. The reason why I am my function is what I see and put together in what the Holy Spirit in me is showing me is to sound a trumpet. Today, now, I, I, I eat meat, but what I saw today really upset me. And it was thousands of cows or cattle laying on the ground dead. Now, they could have died of heat, or they could have been culled. Culling is when you have too many livestock in your bin or whatever it is that you can no longer feed because you don't have the money or the grain to do it. This could be the case. Diesel fuel is running short and therefore the prices are increasing. Joe Biden is going over to the Saudi country, I guess it is, and begging for fuel. We have fuel resources in this country that would last us, from what I understand, 400 years. We have a country that is willing to let, or the politicians are willing to let their citizens of this country die or go hungry and suffer 
because they want to have a green deal. But what I find very interesting is, and what I'm looking at, why is the weather being so disrupt disrupted? Is God allowing this? Is God doing this? The devil can disrupt, but he can disrupt through human beings. And I'm wondering, why is it so hot in Tennessee? It's cold and rainy over here in Washington. It's already the middle of June. This is planting season. Planting season was in May. You can't go out hardly to go do any gardening because you're fighting wet soil or you're fighting wind. You're fighting cold. It's so hot in Tennessee right now that, from what I understand, it's unbearable. I don't know what the other countries are doing, but I do know that the leader of Ukraine, rather than making a deal with Putin, decided it was better to let his people die so he could hang on to something that he most likely is going to lose. Was this worth the lives of hundreds and thousands of people? We have leaders who are ungodly. So my word to you today as I'm speaking, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Therefore, who are you obeying? Are you obeying the spirit of truth inside you and letting him lead you? Or are you listening to the news and believing what is coming out of their mouths? I do suggest that you start going to, as long as they're open, the YouTube channels. Why the YouTube channels? Because some of these people are actually telling the truth. They are not crying wolf. Like I said before, I went to Walmart a few weeks ago to buy mayonnaise. I wanted to stock up on it. I know how to make mayonnaise from, from scratch. However, if there's no eggs available, which could happen if they're going to kill all the chickens, you need chickens to lay eggs. And I looked at the expiration date. Just looked at I don't usually look at the expiration dates. 2019, it had expired. So they went just over one shelf to Best Foods, and it was 2024. Evidently, it wasn't on the slow boat from China. We have a disruption in the supply chain in every area. Food, electronics. Somebody actually went into our credit card this week, and Fraud Control actually found it. They tried to go to four different sites, and the same charge was $7.97. Four times. One was for uh, home products. Another one was for another product. Another one was furniture. Fraud caught it and put the card down, uh, which is a disruption to me and my schedule. Uh, and I had to pay extra money to get that card back up again because I have... Uh, my bills go through there so that I don't have to continue dealing with it. They just automatically charge the card. The other thing is the bank disruption. Now, if you don't have any money in the bank, then obviously there's nothing to take out. However, I would suggest that you have a goodly portion of your funds other than what you use in your checking account or savings account for bill pay, get it put away. The word says, and I'm going to look this up online right now, uh, the scripture about diversification. This is not just me. Uh, let's see, scripture about diversification. Of, of um, 
what would we call that? Money. Ecclesiastes 11.2 says, Divide your portion to seven or even to eight, for you do not know what misfortune may occur on the earth. This is similar to that old country saying, Don't put all your eggs in one basket. When your basket is dropped, every egg is compromised. This is a fourth principle of biblical wealth. You can do diversification use. And uh, I'm going to, okay. And Psalms 24, 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. Ecclesiastes 5, 11, Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but instead even expose them. And I already read Ecclesiastes 11 too, but I'm going to read it again. Divide your portion. That is your wealth. That is your food. That is everything. To seven or even to eight, for you do not know what misfortune may occur on the earth. We do not know what misfortune may occur. But when I see cattle, hundreds and thousands, lying on the ground dead, Something inside of me doesn't buy that they died of heat unless someone didn't give them water or food or shelter. My knower inside of me is saying this was on purpose because someone could have paid them so that food prices will go up. We have an evil, evil, evil government. And when God said to the people in Israel, Samuel, Samuel, they're not doing away with me or you. They're doing away with me. They don't want me, so I'm going to give them a king. Well, we have someone who thinks they're a king in the White House, but it's been alluded to they have a body double. How is it that one day they can speak perfectly well and the next day, because believe me, this person that's going over to another country to beg for oil, is that the real Biden, or is he the one that nobody really knows quite what he looks like that's going to be over there? And the one in his fake White House room that has been built as a, set, a TV uh, studio set is where he stumbles around and has his ice cream. I want to know why he's not been recalled. Why the public is not demanding. Tucker Carlson last night sent his person out. No, it was Walters. Waters. Waters World sent out his uh, person like he used to do with Riley. O'Reilly. And this guy asked a bunch of questions and said, uh, it was talking about January 6th. Not one person knew what January 6th was about until he finally gave them information. Oh, oh, yes, they're disrupting our television shows with these hearings. These hearings are a joke. They're all one-sided. I'm not going to say whether I believe uh, what they're saying happened or not. That's up for another discussion. But folks, please prepare with your substance, and that is food, water, medicines. Let's see, what else? Um, wound care, antibiotics. Store up. There's. I'm not going to put anything down on my site because I do not get any money for 
sharing who I think is good and who I uh, don't think is good. Also, I do listen to the Health Ranger on um, Bition, Bition, right, Brightion. Uh, I think it's, his name is Mike. He's the Health Ranger on there. He has some pretty good inside information. Uh, I don't know whether he's a Christian or not. He very well may not be. But if you're watching just the news on your regular TV, you are being lied to. Uh, Tucker Carlson uh, uh, and Waters. Now Judge Janine on The Five is starting to react and coming out against what's going on in the White House. Um, this cannot last much longer. But you have to realize that God is the one who uh, gives and takes. He's the one that says we live or we don't live. Is Biden still alive? Who's standing in his place? And who is really running the show? <laughs> yes, Lord, I, yes. And why is it that... Obama has ordered a 2,500-gallon propane tank to be put into the yard up at Martha's Vineyard. He's have, he's, uh, there's an association. He has an association he has to obey, too. But I'm sure with the money that he has, money will pass hands, and he'll get what he wants. Why does he need 2,500-gallon tank of propane? He said, oh, he's just preparing. Preparing for what? Um, I have my candidates who I believe are nominations for the Antichrist. Now, it says that the uh, Holy Spirit and the church is preventing the Antichrist to be revealed. We are the ones that are keeping things contained so that nothing happens. But once we're taken out, he will be revealed. But I already have my candidates in mind. I'm not going to mention them here, but I think you all have your candidates. That they're up, they're all. Oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. They may not be saying it or understanding it, but it's like if I can have the wealth and I can have everything that I want, I don't care who I destroy as long as I can have it. Uh, there also seems to be some bunkers or shelters uh, in some towns where if there was some kind of a nuclear event, that people could go to. Now, I don't know if that's the truth or not, but I'm going to do a little hunting myself. If I find them and the Lord has me bring them on, I'll be more than happy to come in and share. But today, this is not scriptures or Bible study for youandhimministries.com, or it's more seeing in part and prophesying in part. Most of the people that I'm speaking to, you already know, at least in your spirit, something is very, very wrong. Is the Lord bringing retribution to the United States for her behavior? I would say, in part, yes, America has become evil because the people have been taught evilness that do not have a relationship with Christ. I don't believe they know right or wrong as a corporate America. Individuals do, and they'll be the ones that will come to the Lord. And uh, Appalachia's homestead, Pratera, Pratera is her name, I believe, made a very interesting statement yesterday and I let it go down into my spirit because it really read. She said, you, first of all, you need a good counsel, a great counselor. And that great counselor is the Lord Jesus Christ. But then she went on to say, are you aware that you are God's harvest? 
and I said, we, and th mm. you who are sounding the trumpet and are helping people to understand what's going on and, and helping the lost, you are God's harvest. We are the harvest. And what is the harvest? It's those that we will pray and pray that God will count us worthy to go in the rapture. And don't say to me, the rapture is not in the Bible. The Bible was not written in English. The word is harpazo, and that means be caught away. And the Bible, the word Bible is not in the Bible. So there's no arguing that away. There were seven raptures in Scripture. And I believe uh, and it talks about even when Jesus ascended, the angel said to the disciples, Why are you standing here looking up in the sky? For as he left, so shall he come back. Look in, I think it's 2 Thessalonians. It's in there. People get out of denial. There is a pre-tribulation rapture. There is a tribulation that is on its way. You need to wake up. You need to be prepared to be ready to leave before that happens. But while that is getting ready to happen, things could get tight and rough here while we're waiting. Some people will deny Christ. Some people will fall away because it'll get too tough because they don't, they can't trust the Lord. They, for some reason, I can't trust the Lord. Why not? He will carry you through the bad times and receive you before tribulation. That seven years is going to be worse than anything we're going through now or will go through. Tell your friends, tell your relatives. Help them to understand that their only way of relief is Jesus Christ. They will need to take counsel from the Holy Spirit. I did not plan on making a video today. And I have to decide, do I just go ahead and put this up with my face on it? Most likely, yes. I don't think I'll put, I don't think I'll put the, I may put the cross thing on up. I don't know. It's my, it's my, uh, my insignia and thumbprint, thumb drop, thumb for this channel. Anyway, I love you guys. If anybody wants to talk to me, of course, you know, uh, my telephone number is 833-726-8255. You can always reach me if you need prayer. But this is becoming more and more, uh, I don't want to hear uh, any more that it's because of Putin. No, it's because of the White House and the people that are in it. These are people who are the walking dead until they repent and ask Jesus Christ into their hearts, You can, they can say that they pray all the time. That is just great. But until they start doing the right thing, we can look at the fruit and see it's rotten. And they are hurting people. So we need to pray for them. Pray Lord, we just do. We lift them up. We pray, Lord God, that they will turn their hearts to you before it's too late, before they are lost, Lord. We have hope. They have no hope, and they, they, their hope is in money and goods. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. And if you can diversify into some gold or silver, I won't say anything about Bitcoin. We've got the... Uh, ninja Guru, I think it is, uh, the Economic Ninja on YouTube. He has invested, he said, $40,000 into Bitcoin or crypto. And he's going for the long haul, and he believes that he will get a lot of money. Uh, Nixon, it, uh, during his presidency, took us off the gold standard. 
Gold uh, has gone up from $1,500 to $1,800 per ounce over the last couple, three years. Uh, and I will tell you, you can buy small, little, small things. Right now, uh, one gram of gold, if you go to a jeweler, don't get it online. You have to, you don't know what that is. Go to one of your jewelers that deals in, in uh, gold or silver. It's $85 a gram right now. That may not sound a lot. 31 grams, I believe, will give you one ounce. But isn't it better you've got something to bargain with than nothing? And then uh, uh, silver isn't that, um, I mean, yeah, okay, fine, it's expensive. But silver's going to be good. It's going to go up. Once this thing totally hits, this stuff is, you're going to need this if you can get it. Uh, are you aware that a penny, if you find a penny, let me do something here. Okay, this is a roll of pennies. This is a roll of pennies? What is this? Oh, actually, this is not a roll of pennies. I need to get, do something with these. Yeah. Anyway, a roll, maybe it is a roll of pennies. Let me check. Uh, no, it's a roll of nickels. I don't know why I have those. Anyway. If you've noticed, if you go to Walmart, I'm looking for a penny. I need a penny. If you go to Walmart or any of these stores where they, that you're uh, scanning your own groceries, are you able to get coins? Are you able to get coins? Uh, remember when they had a big coin shortage? Well, yesterday I reviewed uh, a channel that told me uh, the woman held up a dollar bill. And she also had, and I wish I had, let's, okay, let's pretend this is a roll of pennies. This is a roll of pennies, okay? Looks like a roll of pennies. Dollar. Got a roll of pennies for a dollar. I think it's a dollar. I'm not sure how much, but anyway, she said, would you rather have these pennies or would you rather have, let's consider this a dollar bill. Would you rather have this dollar bill or would you rather have these pennies? The guy goes, well, of course I want the dollar. She goes, really? She said, what if I told you this roll of pennies was worth $3 and that dollar is decreasing and not worth a dollar? He goes, well, how so? She said, because right now one penny is worth three cents. Now, I didn't know that. They're, it's worth three cents right now. This is the reason why you're not able to get pennies at the uh, self-checkout. I went to the bank yesterday. I thought, you know what? I'm turning in my rolls of quarters and stuff for pennies. It certainly makes more sense. That nickel's not doing me any good. And the reason why is because copper is going up. We've got people over here where I live going into a, a, a store that's been closed, an old Sears, stealing the copper piping out of Sears and carrying it off because copper has gone up and they're selling it. So it stands to reason that a penny would be worth more than a nickel. A nickel is not worth it. Now, it doesn't have the, the metal copper in it. So start thinking smart. You're going to need bargaining. You're going to need food at your door if things really get bad so that you have something to bargain with when someone wants to come into your house and steal your food. Have something ready for them. Have a goodwill basket sitting by your door. Well, what is it that you need? Do you have a hungry child? Baby formula. Can you imagine a baby formula? They knew about this last year in November. Does it not seem to anyone that they are doing a depopulation thing? There's too many people. And so possibly we can get rid of some of these people. That's what I'm seeing. Not prophesying. That's what I'm seeing. 
Prophecy also can be seeing. What are you seeing? And what do you need to get you out of denial? Seriously. What does it take to turn the light on? There's an old joke about a man who lost a quarter. And he's looking and looking and looking and looking for it by this, under this light, by this park bench. And this guy comes over to me and says, I thought you said you lost your quarter over there. And the man replies, I did, but there's more light here. Now, if that makes sense to you, then you need to do something. I speak against par spiritual paralysis right now where you don't know to do anything. You don't know which way to go. Do something. Do something. Don't just sit there. Can, preserve, sound the trumpet. Get your money as much as you can out of the bank that you are not needing for bill pay. Diversify and help other people understand what is going on. Be God's harvest, like Patera said, because I believe that's the truth. We are God's harvest. We are the seeds that God once planted to help feed and help people have an understanding of, you are not imagining this. This is really happening. So prepare. And let other people help you to prepare as you're helping them. Do everything you possibly can to get out of debt. Don't do, don't, don't do a home equity loan. Because they raised the interest rate 0.75 yesterday or the day Wednesday. Can you really afford to make a double house payment? Because that's what it'll end up doing. Instead of the 2.5 or whatever the interest rate is that you're paying now, your interest rate will double at least. And you'll be making, instead of an $800 payment a month, you'll be paying $1,600. And if, God forbid, you lose uh, your Social Security, or you lose your pension, or you lose your job. How will you make that house payment? You will be on the street. Yes, the Lord makes a way for us, but he also gives us a brain. Um, the other thing, don't do a variable um, interest rate. Don't go into that kind of a contract. Keep praying if you're in debt and you need help for God to give you the correct information on how to get help. In Jesus' name. Anyway, I am Sister Pamela, host of You and Him Ministries, Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. You can discount everything I've said if you think that I'm just blowing my horn or crying wolf. Or you can pay attention and start doing something and getting information other places rather than the nightly news. There are plenty of people on YouTube that are sounding the alarm. They're not all goofy. Anyway, God bless, and you have a wonderful, is wonderful anyone day. anyone out there who has not accepted the Lord as their Savior, who is watching this video, I pray that you will accept him. All you have to do is admit that you are a sinner, A. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and C, confess your sins. And if you will do that, the Lord will forgive you, and you will start a new journey. Uh, he takes it pretty easy on the new Christian. I've been a Christian for a very long time, and now now the fire, uh, obviously John the Revelator went through the fire. So I don't know why that's up. I'm looking at stuff here. So I'm going to wish you adieu. 
a good day. I'm going to, uh, we will go ahead and um, my, you'll see my information at the end of the video where you can reach me. Uh, and of course, you can always call me at 833-PAM-TALKS or 833-726-8255. You can uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 email me at pam at you and him. Uh, ministries, you and him dot info or you and him, Pam at you and him ministries dot com. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I don't retain things very long if I haven't been doing it. And our address is 10. Um, uh, it'll be at the end of the video. I'm not, I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, but it's Aberdeen, Washington. And uh, then let's go ahead and do the benediction, <coughs> which is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 through 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. May his face shine upon you. May his face shine upon you. Folks, time is growing short. We know this is, let me play with something here while I'm on here with you. Time is growing short. And you get you need to get your seatbelts on. And the seatbelt is the Word of God. You need to be sitting in the Word of God. And it needs to be sitting in you. Uh, if you are... Um, not getting some extra food while you're out, I would suggest you do that at uh, every shopping trip. Start thinking about your pantry. If uh, the food shortage starts and the uh, fertilizer is not coming in because of the Russia-Ukraine, you have to realize that gardening is going to be uh, at a premium. Seeds, uh, if you see some gardening seeds, I would get them and put them away. You want probably hybrid, uh, hybrid and heritage seeds. Maybe not for this year, but for next year. Get some soil in. If you don't know how to garden, go out there and plant something. Make the mistake now so that you can learn how to do it. If you uh, don't know how to make bread, if you have a bread maker, great. But also get your hands in the flour and the dough. Find out ways that you will be able to sustain uh, sustain yourself during what I believe is a, a Joseph situation. We've had good years through Trump, and now we're going into a period where we have someone who seems to have a problem understanding that all he has to do to stop this gas shortage or height is to open up the Canada price uh, pipeline and then there's another pipeline. You might want to ask yourself if he's president of the United States and he's shutting these down, who whose orders are he, is he taking? Anyway, we're into 13 minutes. I wish you adieu. I uh, bless you. And I am Pam Gunderson, host of Union Ministries Bible Study and, and uh, Prophetic News. And I will see you again tomorrow. If you don't see me again tomorrow this way, and this is the same video you see, I'm under the gun, but you will see the scriptures up the same place that I put them up uh, these last two uh, times I mentioned them, and then I will come and go as, uh, uh, as I can. But the Lord's plan, obviously, is not for me reading the scriptures. This is something you need to do. And I enjoy it. And you can listen to these scriptures. They're there. You can pull up anybody online or on your uh, phone that's reading these scriptures so that you can read it with it in your uh, in front of your face, hold it in your hands, and hear it with your ears. That way you'll be able to retain it. Then journal. Then the Lord will be able to speak something into your life. Right now, I have got all kinds of books and scriptures that I'm having to study. So don't worry about me not reading the daily word. I want to make sure that you have it, though. God bless you. I love you all. I miss you all. Some of you I know in person. 
anyway, God bless, and I will see you manana, either with the scriptures or in person.